You are watching William Patterson University Television. Welcome back to our 11th annual Braveathon. I'm Tiernan Doyle from WPTV and Brave New Radio. And I'm Bridget Charlton from Brave New Radio. We want to thank Fry Guys, American Heroes Smokehouse and Barbecue, veteran owned and operated, and they give 15% off their, for students. Manhattan Bagel and David Precise for sponsoring our event today. To follow all of the Braveathon action today, go to gobrave.org forward slash Braveathon. Or check out the hashtag Team Hobart. That's Team Hobart on Twitter and Instagram. Our next artist has opened for artists such as Crazy Town and Headfee. Please help us welcome Blue Lizard. Next one's an original called Monkey Spit. Get like a head case, babe, when I'm out of whack. Hands to the world, but I'm right on track with you. Atomic bomb blowing overload. It's how you melt me down in a world so cold. But don't leave me alone, don't leave me alone. Well, you may calm down, but I still got you. Yeah, I still got you to hold. What I'm trying to say is I need the black hole feeling that I get when you say it back. Got nothing else without me, so come on, baby, girl, we got the world to see. Break my bones, but 
This next one's another original called Wicked Thoughts.
This next one's a brand new one. This is the first time we're playing this ever. This one's Tragic Flaw. <laughs> We got two more songs for you. This next one's called Hollow Point.
Our last song, Drag. You can find this one on YouTube. Stop 
Thank you guys, we're Blue Lizard. Thank you, Brave New Radio. Thank you, Blue Lizard. We'll be right back with more in just a few. Don't go anywhere. This is our 11th annual Braveathon. Welcome back to Braveathon. I'm Tiernan Doyle. And I'm Bridget Charlton. And we're back with Blue Lizard. So, guys, we have to ask the name Blue Lizard. Why? Why? Uh, so the story goes, uh, right when we started playing together, uh, me and Mikey, we were about 10, I was 10 years old, he was 7 years old, we're cousins. Mm -hmm. Uh, we started playing off the influence of his dad, who was in the rock scene for mm -hmm. forever in the 90s. Um, and I was actually at CVS. CV yeah, it's gonna yeah. go somewhere, but right. we were at CVS. I was with my uncle, who's his, his dad. And, uh, we're online waiting to pay, mm -hmm. and we're looking. And we see a sunscreen, and it says Blue Lizard Sunscreen. And my uncle goes, what a band name. <laughs> so I get back to his house. That, that day, like 10 minutes later, I get to his house. I go, our name's Blue Lizard, our band name. It's that easy. So go, let's go. <laughs> it's been a strong, how many years is that? Um, 22 now, 12 years. 22. Yeah. <laughs> so 12 years name? we've had that name. That's yeah. awesome. So when did you get the rest of the band in on that? Uh, he, he, well, he went to high school with, uh, Josh and Joey. Joey was the first one to start jamming with us. I don't know, we were, we were you were about... Uh, about fresh, freshman year. He was like 14. Um, we were in the high school band together, actually eighth grade. So it was eighth grade, we were in the high school band together. And, um, we started jamming together. We became friends from basketball. We played basketball, football together. And then, um, 2014, we got Josh in the band, the guitar player. And from there, we've had this, this lineup um, since 2014, 15, we've had this lineup. Uh, and we've played over 40 plus shows. Wow. Um, yeah, so that's been the lineup. It's just, we're just all best friends. We got two cousins. Josh and Joey are actually cousins somehow, somehow too. Cousins. <laughs> so we have two groups of cousins. <laughs> And, and it was meant to be. Yeah, it was meant to <laughs> and be. the Blue Lizard was born. <laughs> <laughs> so, rock and roll is a very diverse and uh, open uh, genre of music with a lot of amazing musicians. What do we say would, are some of the bands or musicians that influence you the most? Black Sabbath. Mm. Nice. Helmet. Black Sabbath. Helmet. Okay. STP, Stone Temple Pilots. Uh, uh, Linkin Park, 100%. Okay. Linkin, Linkin Park, Park's one of our favorites. Foo Fighters. Um, and then we have a lot of like uh, hip hop influence too. That right. I, okay. like oh, okay. right now, like we we love we love a lot of the new artists that are like actually artists mm -hmm. and really putting in the work, um, you know, into their music. Uh, new rappers, Machine Gun Kelly. Yeah, Machine Gun Kelly, we love, and you know, even old rappers too. Like we love the Beastie Boys, huge oh. influence oh on gosh. us. LL Cool J. We we even cover like Mama Said Knock You Out by LL Cool J. Really? Yeah. Uh, so. Awesome. Yeah, a lot of hip hop influence uh, on that too. And then his dad's band is one of our biggest influences. Uh, 
He taught us how from to play. He so. taught us how to play. That's and, awesome. And that's, that's what we took. Great. Yeah. So. so from that eclectic array of music, <laughs> I'm sure that your shows are wild. What's probably the craziest, funniest thing that's happened at a gig? Uh oh. <laughs> there's, always, there's always some crazy guy that ends there's up that, at, one that guy. we don't just know. Just one guy. Who's just one guy we had one like spinning in the middle of the concert, yeah, just really? spinning. Starting like, moshes with our parents. Like our parents <laughs> are just like innocent bystanders. Yeah. They're like this. Huh? My grandma's never going to. Yeah, yeah. She's like, the grandma gets in the mosh. Like, there's elbows. always just one guy that's doing some <laughs> yeah, weird yeah. dance. And then he like kind of stalks us after the show. Oh, no. He's just like running around trying to find us, trying oh, to get merch, all that yeah. stuff. Really? That's usually the weirdest but thing. That hat, but the hat, the hat uh, thing from the fan. Oh, oh. so. Tell me about wow. that. Wow. All right. So I'm. Um, we're, we're playing so hard on stage at the Delancey yeah. in uh, Lower East Side. Okay. We had a show out there um, for a single release that we had, okay. and uh, the place was packed. And we're playing so hard, my hat falls off my head. Oh, it flies really? off into the crowd, and we're jamming, we're jamming, we're still playing in the middle of the song, our song Drag, and we're in that breakdown part in the middle, and my best friend picks up my hat off the floor, and he, we look each other eye to eye, we're like, and he goes like this. And I'm like, this is going to be perfect. Let's he go. throws it in the air. He's like, he's probably like where the cameras are. Like, he's probably like maybe 10 feet away. Yeah. Throws it. And like mid down pick, bam, lands oh. on my head. No joke. On the drop. On the drop. And the whole crowd just went. <laughs> and then screamed. <laughs> and, then down, like, and then back down. And it was just like everybody was in awe. It That's was a crazy, awesome. it was just so cool. I you playing. can't get chances better than that. No, no, it, it'll never happen again. Perfect. So do you have any new shows coming up? Yeah, we have. Uh, we actually have a huge show that we're gonna announce on this show. Oh. Um, we're opening up for the band Red Gold Green mm -hmm. uh, on July twentieth. Uh, it's a Saturday night at Debonair Music Hall in Teaneck. Mm -hmm. uh, they've been a huge influence on us. They've worked with artists such as the Foo Fighters, like Dave Grohl Pharrell. drummed on their whole album. Pharrell produced their music. Um, the Method Man from Wu Tang Clan. They have songs with them and. We've been kind of making friends with them. We mm -hmm. go to all their shows, and they really like us. Now so they you post. guys are that guy for them. <laughs> yes, exactly. Great way uh, to put it. Yeah. yeah, that's a great way to yeah. put it. So that show, I think we're gonna, we're working on an album right now, our second album. So we're kind of laying off on the shows so that mm -hmm. we could pack that place. Like we're we're gonna sell out the Debonair Music Hall for that show. Oh, yeah. That is exciting. Yeah. Now, I hear, I hear second album. Can we maybe get a date and maybe a location that we can get that online and all that when it comes out? Uh, it's tough to say. Ooh. We're, we have, Approximation? We have, <laughs> yeah. So we have six songs completed. Done. Uh, we released two singles off of it so far. Mm -hmm. uh, Black and Blue with a feature, a feature uh, uh, rapper Black Dave, rapper mm -hmm. skater and out of the city. Um, and we re released another single, Sober, it's called. Um, it's a great track. With, yeah. Oh, you yeah, listened to it? I put yeah, it in with the system. The, with another <laughs> wow. feature, um, uh, Reina. And uh, so we have six songs completed. We're going into the studio next week to do four, four more. Uh, and we should have that completed, I would say, mid-June. And we might wait for that show with Red Gold Green to release mm -hmm. the album, have it a nice big album release party with them coming and, and just make it a big, big party. shebang. That'd be awesome. <laughs> that would be good. All right, so what are some places that we can find you on social media or online? Uh, you find us all social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram. Facebook. Yeah, all Facebook. YouTube. Yeah. Bandcamp. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah every, <laughs> everything. And streaming services, Apple Music, Spotify, Google Play, yeah. YouTube. All the streaming the services video. were out there. Yeah. Um, and... YouTube, we have our, our only music video out there for drag. Mm -hmm. uh, it's up to like eight eight thousand views, and like that's real. Slight like flex, that was right? just not a it's for not us, a flex, for but it for us that was like a huge accomplishment. Um, it was stuck at like three four thousand for a while, and oh, we recently only there. <laughs> <laughs> we recently been doing a lot of promotion with the rapper skater from the city, Black Dave, and Red Gold Green even posts mm -hmm. our stuff. Um, so, that just, so it just like it rocketed it another four thousand views, and it's really awesome. a big accomplishment yeah. for us. Well, we're sorry to cut you guys off, but we're hoping that all of our listeners definitely go check you out on all of those different mediums because you guys were fantastic. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. 
One last time, we want to thank Blue Lizard for joining us. And coming up next is My Rising Fall. This is Braveathon on Brave New Radio and WPTV. You are watching William Patterson University Television.